All right, all right. The be the beauty, the beauty. We got a we got Instagram over here. We have YouTube on the side, and so we're gonna we're gonna jump right into this. Um, we're covering the five five tips for your brand identity, and, and this came about tip uh, because I had a question from uh, a coaching client, and we were just kind of going over some of their products and some of the services that that they that they have, and how can they better I guess position themselves, and so one of the questions was, um, you know, I, 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 I know my product is good, and and it is, it's a it's a very good product, but what we found as we dug down deeper, the problem was not only is not just the product, the challenge was the way she described her product. So most people, and and, and let's just take. Um, let's just take this pen, okay? And, and this pen is a great product. It's a, it, you know, it's a great product and it serves a purpose. So if you're just looking at the pen itself, the pen itself is a writing pen. But when you are marketing your pen, you want to talk about the benefits of what this pen can do. Now, this pen right here can can sign a million dollar check. This pen right here can write a letter to the love of your life to explain to them how you're feeling and to, 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 to get them to feel a different way about you. This pen right here can, um, can, 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 buy, can get you into a house. You can utilize this pen to stroke on the line to buy you the house. And then you can have this pen right here sealed up. So it's not the pen, it's what feeling are you allowing your client to, to get out of you utilizing your product or your service. So um, and what, the, what I wanted to kind of di um, dive into was the first thing I, I, was, I was asking them and I gave them, a, um, uh, I guess, some homework to do was to look at the brand identity. So the first thing we had to do was define define her person the personality of the company. And here here is some some example. So when when I say define your brand your brand personality, it's the characteristic it's if you were giving human characteristics to your company, to your business, to your um to your uh yeah, to your to your company, what type of words would you would you use? And so I just wanted to give you some examples and I pulled this up. So like for instance, if we took if we took Nike, Nike, what are, what are some of their brand personalities? Their brand personalities, bold, innovative, inspiring. So someone actually sat down and came up with the personality. So and, and now that you when I once once I mention it, you can see he's like, you know what? Yes, I can see Nike being bold. I can see them being innovative, taking, you know, putting Michael Jordan, being innovative, going up to the next level, being bold, taking risk, being inspiring, be like Mike. You know, you, you now you can see the concept of the Nike brand. Uh, again, um, some some of the things taking taking risks, pushing belong, pushing beyond your limits. Going for excellence. These are some of the things that Nike has defined as their brand. Uh, let's look at Coca-Cola. So if we're looking at Coca-Cola, they optimistic, friendly. And as I'm, re as I'm reading it, I'm like, wow. Now, uh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll go into what, what another part of this. And I'm thinking now I can see what's happening during their commercials. Youthful. This is some of the personalities that that Coca Cola want to inspire in, in, into you. <laughs> so, so they, uh, they they put an emphasis on creating moments of happiness. <laughs> Whenever you think of Coca Cola, a Coke and a smile. So, it, and what's, so when they drink in the Coca Cola, you can what? And they, when, when they turn it, and you psh, taste the feeling. So your brand. What is your brand saying? What what is your brand saying? To to um, to your prospects, what are they saying to them? Apple computer, something just as just as simple as Apple computer. What are their personality? Innovative, sophisticated, uh, minimalist, uh, and they, and their personality. Some of the things that they look at. Um, 
They wanted to tell you to think differently. So Apple slogan, think differently. So if you were to think about your company, what type of words would you use to describe your company? That's one. Uh, num number, number two, number two, number two. You want to create a consistent brand voice. Now, when I say a consistent brand voice, what, what, what I mean? Uh, your marketing material, whether it's your website, whether it's your, car, your business card, wh whether it's the videos that you're making, those are the voices. That, that's how you're getting your voice out to your, your, your prospects and to the, into the community. How are, they hear, how are they hearing you come across when you're speaking to them? What type of message are you generating, again, from the, from the message? What type of feeling are you try, trying to generate? Because all products have, they, 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 they do something for you or for, or for someone. All products do something for someone, but how can you, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> how can you, what, what is the best way for you to demonstrate that feeling that your prospect is going to have or your customer is going to have once they utilize your product or your service that is the biggest that is the biggest thing that i want you to try to get across to your um to your customer to your customer base number three number three uh, focus on your customer now when i when i say focus on your customer what i mean you have you have to it's probably best to 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 kind of get into the mind. And di different different coaches and trainers say it differently, but you have to get into the mind, sit in the chair, sit in their shoes, the avatar, whichever word you want to use of your prospect, of your customer, of your client. You have to get into that that mind of them. How are they thinking? Again, what are they feeling? What are the, what are some of the intrinsic internal struggles that they're going through? We know the external in your product, um, your product, most times in our marketing, we are having our product talk about the external um, problem that our customer is facing. For instance, I, I'll just, uh, just take this microphone. Externally, I need a microphone so I can, uh, so I can speak. But internally, what does it do? Oh, it makes you sound more professional. So now, whoever is is selling this me this microphone, they don't want to talk about me just talking on a microphone and sounding louder. Okay, they, they would tell me, okay, you can sound more professional. Okay, those are internal struggles that I would go through. How am I coming across to the audience? Do I want to come across as you know it, it's it's airy in the background, or do I want to come across as clear and concise? Well, well, we can help you do that. <laughs> hey, oh, here it is, right here. Oh, well, oh, here's my money. Okay, <laughs> so that, that's 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 how that's how that's how it works. Um, number four, your logo. Okay, what is your logo saying about you? So now, now it, we already know. Just just think about it. I'm just going to say some ones at the top. Um, as soon as I say it, the, the logo will, uh, will just come up to, in, into your mind. Starbucks, again, Coca-Cola, um, uh, Nike again, <laughs> um, uh, Chevrolet, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Tesla. These logos just pop into your McDonald's. All you have to see, you don't even have to see the name. You just see the, the two golden arches and what happens. You already understand it in your, in your mind. Um, tells you okay oh okay correlates that to that's mcdonald's so so how can your logo have the same you you you, you want to make sure it's having the same kind of the message the same feeling the same characteristics that of your the personality of your company and your business and finally five the fifth one is be authentic be yourself I'm I'm getting probably a little a little deep on this one because the more I'm understanding and coaching, the more I'm understanding about myself. The more I'm understanding about myself, the better I'm able to become. Why? Because now I I like me. I know me. I'm okay. <laughs> I fought this for a long time, guys. I fought it for a long time. You ready? You ready? Your partner Frankie P. 
I am just a nerd who was allowed to hang with the cool folks for one simple reason, my athletic ability. Okay, I, 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 was, I, I wasn't good at, in, in grades, so I wasn't smart, so they couldn't really copy off my paper, so they, they wouldn't befriend me there. Um, sitting around joning, I, I wasn't a good joner. You know, my, my, my jokes fall flat, okay? So, so if, if, if you're around me long enough, you'll say, man, that's some corny stuff. But because I understand who I am now, I'm able to be myself. I don't have to hide behind a, a facade. When, the more you're able to be authentic with yourself and your brand, have your brand be authentic, the characteristic, the better you'll understand yourself. I mean, the the, the more the better the results that you'll end up seeing. Uh, I had a conversation <laughs> with with my wife, and we were talking about. Um, the, one of the first, and I was explaining to her one of the first things as far as coaching, the almost anyone can tell you the step by the steps to do, and I'm thinking, and I'm I'm listening to to coach after coach after coach of why most people in their programs don't have success, and, and they'll tell them exactly, what, and it's good information, phenomenal information, but for whatever reason, people aren't taking action. And so now I I I, I'm, I, I, t- I took a step back and I, I'm listening to um to to to, to my Myron Golden. I'm, I was listening to Myron Golden, and one of the things he said is, we as coaches, our first obligation, one of the first obligations to our client, is to have a belief in them so they can continue, but also to get them to think like the person that they want to become before they get there. I want you to get that. One of the first jobs for us as a coach is to get our clients to think like the person they want to become in order to get there. It it, it was the be, do, have. We already know what they want to have. And what, what I see with most in most coaching programs they're telling you step by, I mean, it's phenomenal. They're telling you ex- excellent, absolutely perfect step-by-step details of what you need to do. But there's a, a gap. Why aren't most of the people not taking action? It's because of the belief that they have of who they see themselves being is not who they, that person yet. I, um, as I said, me and my wife, we, we had, had a conversation. I was kind of talk, talking to her about that, about the be, do, have. If, if, you, if you think, if you, if you be little, if we, we, I talked about being. You be little, you do little, you have a little. You be a lot, you do a lot, you have a lot. Though it goes in that you, you don't be a little and have a lot. Or if you do, it's called hitting the lottery. <laughs> Okay, it's called hitting the lottery. And what happens in three to five years is all gone because you haven't grown to that person who can take care of what God has entrusted into you. So he's going to give it. He, oh, well, that's what you say. You want? OK, let, let, let that happen. Let's 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 see what he do. So the first thing is called being we are human beings. We are human beings, meaning we are be, we're not human duns. We're not humans. Okay, we was. We're not human was. We are human beings. Being. We are becoming. Now, as I hear this, again, let me let me preface this. This is my interpretation of becoming. The first and the last is being. The middle is come. Meaning things are coming to fruition based on your being. Who are you be? Who are you becoming in order to have? Okay, things are going to come to to fruition based on the being that you are, your thought process of that you will be in. Not who you are now. Who you are now, everything that you have is based on who you are. You cannot have more than the person that's sitting in your seat right now, listening to this right now. You can't. You can't. You can't do it. So. That um, my wife she threw a little wrench at me, and it's true. So so I, you know we just had those conversations back and back and forth, back and forth. 
So she had my mind thinking. So now she's my coach, right? <laughs> okay. So, so it was the be, the do, the have. We talked about that. So my wife says, well, okay, well, could you do in order to change your thinking? And I had to take a step back because I was listening. Um, I, I, I follow Abraham Hicks. And that's one of her uh, things that she says. She says, there's never one way to do it in, in anything in life. There's never one way, no matter what. There, there's two sides in this pen. There's two sides to a coin. There's two sides to, to paper. There's two sides to a shirt. So there's two sides to everything. Now, the key is in your life, which side are you going to focus on? If there's negative, there's positive. If there's up, there's down. If there's right, there's wrong. There's polarities. There is two sides of every single thing. There's two sides of this microphone, this side and this. There are two sides of everything. So what side are you going to decide that you're going to view? So now there, there are some people out there, it could be 100% positive. They'll find one thing negative. That's the perspective they're looking at. That one negative thing that they will look at. There's some people who can be in the coldest thing and it's ran outside and they, they'll find one thing that that's perfect about to the, about the, about the day and that's how they live their life so there are polarities there's there's up there's down there's opposites of everything so yeah so do does it always have to be be do have no because you can hit the number and have and not be you can another way to actually do this is you can actually take so much action that you change the biochemicals in your mind to believe that that's who you are. So yes, that is one way to do it. You can take so much action that you can then become that person who you are who 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 you would like to be, to have the things that you would like to have. That is one way. I personally just my belief is just too hard. <laughs> It just takes too. It just takes too much energy. That's too much struggle. So, I, I just believe in the you be. You start being who you that person. I because I, I was um you know getting a little chubby around around the gut here, and so in order for me to have the health and the body that I would want to have, there's certain things that I have to do. So there's a certain way that I have to think. So I said, okay, well. Hmm, Okay. Well, what is the first thing I need to do? Okay, so if what is the what things would a healthy person do? So that's how I started thinking, and then I came down. I, I went down to the basement and I, I got on the, the little bike and I just started riding the bike. Lo and behold, not only did it allow me physically to feel better, but mentally it, it opened up my mind to to to, to places that I had. Never even, well, not never, but that had never, that had not been in my wheelhouse for a while. Like, wow, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> I like this. Be, do, have. Okay. The five, the, the five, uh, uh, the five tips for brand identity. Number one, define your brand personality. Number two, create a system brand voice. Number three. Who's your avatar? Take some time to find who your avatar is. What are the feelings they having? How can your product or your service uh, become the solution to that problem they have? Number four, uh, a brand, a brand, a brand identity, a visual identity. Your, your logo. You can work on your logo. And a lot of people have a logo on the slogan now, but you can, you know, you, you make it, can tweak it or make it, maybe make it a little bit better. And number five, be be authentic. Be yourself. Be yourself. So this is your partner Frankie P. I'm gonna get on out of here. Uh, Hope you guys got something out of it. Go ahead, um, give you some homework. Here's your homework. Take some time and write down three characteristics, adjectives of your business, of your company, of your company. Um, you can sit, put it in the comments. Com put it in the comments. Let, let me let me see what you what you're thinking about um, and what you have. If you like to have a 20 free 25 minute uh, coaching coaching session with me, just reach out to me. Just text. Um, just text coach. Okay. Right, then I'll tell you about my expert. Just text coach to 301-549-6942. Just text coach to 301-549-6942. And we can get you on the 25-minute uh, free 
a coaching coaching um, coaching session okay but this is your part of frankie p i'm gonna get out of here remember you change your perspective you change your life when you change your perspective you change your life when you change your perspective you be you do you will have guess what's gonna happen guys you're gonna change your life peace i'm out of here thanks for showing up and i appreciate you every bit